I'm back, peeps. Please, I hope you guys are all logging back on with me. Um, we had some sound and audio problems, bad Facebook. So um, I was kind of listening to the replay to see where we were lost. I sounded like poltergeist, and I'm sorry, I try not to look at all the comments when I'm speaking because then I'm getting all confused on where I am. So um, I'm just going to give you guys a couple seconds to um, get back on. And if you can tell me the last thing you each heard, then I can at least get back to where we started. I did hear, um, we did talk about the slim down and some of the BCAs. Um, and then we also spoke about lemon water in the morning and the effects of that. Um, so my apologies for those, but I'm going to continue on. We were talking about um, tips for shift workers. As you know, I have been a shift worker for about 15 years of my life and no, it's not easy. So I'm going to try and just sum this up for those of you that didn't hear everything and that we did have um, audio problems. My apologies. Damn. I, you guys should have been like, yo, what's up? Anyways. Okay. So shift workers. So as I was saying, don't starve yourself through the middle of the night, okay? So it's really important that you eat. Um, good to have you back. Thank you. Thank you for the heads up. And I was just talking away because that's all I do. Um, so it's really important that you eat throughout the night. So I was going through kind of what I do with my meal management bag. So here are these meal management bags. They're six-pack bags. This just happens to be a Fitmark bag. What I do like is that way the bags actually come with the Tupperware in them. So there's a place for you to insert your Tupperwares right here. And you can even put your shaker cup on the sides. So you have everything, okay? So I would come to a night shift, ask anybody that knows me again, my big, my big meal management bay actually has wheels. Everybody was like, it looks like you're going through the airport with that thing with wheels. <laughs> so I would roll this thing in. For those of you, yes, I worked in the correctional environment. So there isn't anything that I haven't seen, but I would wheel my meal management bag in. I had wheels because it was just so heavy and bulky between by having my supplements, because this has a supplement tray as well, and all my uh, Tupperware. So I go to work, and every two hours, if I started a shift, I ate at seven o'clock, and then I'd eat at around seven or um, at around eight or nine. Um, I'd make sure I'd have some of my car low glycemic carbohydrates. Um, if like around 10 or 11, and then have lighter things through the evening. So stick to your veggies, your fiber, fibrous uh, vegetables, protein shakes, things that are fairly light um, if you're afraid of eating. But please do not stop eating. And um, as far as the workouts, oh my God, Jeff, I had to come to the side here again. All I have for lunch is a sandwich. We got to get you on a program, Jeff. A sandwich is not approved. It's not Danino approved, as I will say. So it's really important as well that um, you drink a lot of water, keep hydrated. I call it my three lifelines just the same. So my lifelines are sleep, nutrition, and training. And those are very important to maintain those health and fitness goals throughout the night. I mean, if I can do it, it if being on shift work, then that means that anybody else has no excuses. So when I coach your mind, I'm switching your mind around to say time is relative. Who cares if it's 7 o'clock in the morning or 7 o'clock at night? It doesn't matter. It's just a matter of time. If you travel to Australia, if you traveled across the world, it doesn't matter. It's just a time, okay? Your body really doesn't know any different. And yes, they say it's bad to work night shifts, but as long as you're feeding it properly, eating it, getting enough sleep, then it doesn't matter. So I don't want you to think, oh my God, it's one o'clock in the morning and you want me to have rice? Yes, I do. Because you're going to be up for another six hours and, and you need to feed it. So then you don't lose muscle, your energy is still high, and you're still rubbing your metabolism with food. Okay, remember food is your fuel and you've got to fuel the body with the food. Having said that, if you have a chance and you have a workplace um, that allows you to work out, then, <clears throat> then do so. So um, I know a lot of facilities aren't going to have this big, massive gym. You're not going to have an LA Fitness or a Lifetime Fitness or whatever, Crunch Fitness, but there are things that you can do. So I have a mobile gym in my bag. So let me reach over here. This is my gym bag, another Fitmark bag, but it's my bag of tricks, I call it. So let me see. So what I do is I bring a lot of resistance bands. I bring a skipping rope. Now, I personally do hit, 
HIIT training. So high intensity interval training. Um, I don't have to depend on where I'm going to be because a lot of times I have the resistance bands and I have skipping ropes and ab wheels. So I'm not dependent upon that. And everybody knows that I'd be crazy enough to do cardio at three o'clock in the morning. So I'd be going on my break and I would jump on a treadmill or I'd go do sprints at three o'clock in the morning when I was training, when I was competing hard. Yeah, that's me. So this is what I'm trying to tell you. Um, you have to put away the excuses because at the end of the day, you'll always find one. Okay, so no excuses. Show up for you. That was the theme. So this is my ab wheel. It goes with me whether I'm traveling or whether I'm working. Um, I have a resistance band. You can tie it around doors, equipment, whatever. And like I said, because a lot of people have limited um, gym locations. So at least this way, I can just show up and say, okay, just give me a space that I can work at. I have my skipping rope. This is all in a bag. Okay, so I have my skipping rope. Try skipping for two minutes on and off, and you'll get you'll burn more calories than if you were in a treadmill, uh, probably for half an hour. So really good. Um, got my headphones. Got my Sony wireless headphones, and of course I've got bands, stretch bands, and everything we can hang over doors. So there are really are no excuses. Okay, and I want to show you some examples of people that have done this and are successful. So I really, again, in coaching your mind, to switch your head around to think that you got to put yourself first. This is how I want you to look at it. If, for example, it was 4 o'clock in the morning and you had, God forbid, a child that needed to go to therapy at the hospital or injections because they were ill and the only time they could go was at four o'clock in the morning you would make the time to get up and make sure that your significant other or your child or whoever else got to that appointment so when it comes to yourself that's how you have to think well if you were willing to get up at four o'clock in the morning or if you were willing to get up at three o'clock in the morning for a child a friend or family member why aren't you willing to get up or being able to do a workout or eat healthy for yourself so again, it's about removing those objections because you'll never run out of them ever. Okay. I know I've been there. It, it wasn't easy for me, but it's about changing your mindset around. Um, I want to give a big up. One of my favorite and most proud covers is the one of Optimize Magazine. Um, and they did Fit Responders. And as you can see, these are women that I am so proud to be next to. Um, we have fit responders, which are first responders in law enforcement. Um, so I'm in the middle. Woohoo! Thanks, Optimize. We have um, over here Tara Broughton. She's with uh, the police force. And we have two paramedics. Looks like we have Tanya. And um, I'm sorry, it's, I'm blanking out right now. Um, we have Emily as well. Um, so it's really about how bad do you want it? How bad do you want your health and fitness goals? So these women are working, imagine being a paramedic, okay, and bringing your meals to work and working out and being able to maintain those health and fitness girls. And not to mention these women have children too. So look at an inspiration, look at people that can inspire you and motivate you to achieve those goals. So if you can do it, there's people that don't have jobs and, and they're still able to maintain those fitness goals. But look at the ones that can do it while working night shifts, okay, and maintaining families. I remember even after the night shift, I was always on a high. So I would, um, as soon as I got home, I would get up and I would just do my cardio. I thought, let me get it out of the way. But if you are going to sleep, okay, making sure you try and get at least five hours of sleep, then um, get up and do your cardio and then eat. So it's just like a regular day. So again, let me, I'm getting, I'm getting some of your comments here. Very true. Yes, that's right. Um, I'm glad that you guys can hear me. Um, uh, make sure you like this page and comment. But, um, again, it's, it's really about me coaching you how to be a better you. Um, and, and I really hope that if anything, um, forget about, forget about the external factors. I want to get into your head and know that you're trying and that really it's about, removing all those objections. I have them. I, we all have them. So if I can get you to switch your mindset, then everything else will fall into place. As I said, I can lead you to the water, but I can't force you to drink. <clears throat> I like that. 
So, and those are the only type of people that I work with. So when people are like, okay, well, I want to join your programs. I have to study their mindset because I'm not there to babysit anybody. I'm sorry. Um, and I don't care. You don't have to be the fittest person. You could be 50 pounds overweight. You could have health problems, but if you have the, mo the motivation in your mind, then I am willing to work with you because once I get into your mind and I see that it works, it, it's almost like, okay, and I'm going to say something because you know, I'm quirky. Um, it's almost like having cheap sex, right? Cheap sex is easy again. And I've referred this to it before. Cheap sex is easy, but when you have an intimate relationship and a mind connection with someone, it's really hard to say no. So that's what I'm trying to do with you, right? So I'm really trying to have an attachment to your mind to know that you can do this. Show up for you. I always say that. Show up for you. Um, and whatever the obstacles are, then reach out. Get into a community. There's a lot of people. Find out who has similar experiences. I don't have a perfect life. I don't have the perfect situations. But you have to make do with what you have. Okay? And so do you. So, um, okay, I got some questions here. Jeff Morning, you walk around a thousand steps a day at work. That is fabulous. That is fab. Cray cray. I am happy. Can you and try speed walking? Do you see that the speed walking is in the Olympics where they do those shoulder movements and everything? But and if you can, um, another thing, get a Fitbit or if you can get something that'll track your steps. I actually have a timer myself and I put it on my hip. Let me reach into my little fitness on the go bag that I know I have here. So I have my gym boss interval trainer and here if you're doing hit training or um, if you are walking steps, whatever count steps, make sure you get one of these. So 1000, that's great. And if you can try and do those going uphill, but steps is great. I love running and jogging steps and don't tell me most workplaces have a ton of steps. Forget the elevator, start taking those steps, take those steps, um, two to three at a time to increase the difficulty on those steps. Okay, Jeff, let me know how that feels. And it should burn your glutes and um, really look work at shaping and toning as well. So that's a really good thing to do. So make sure you're on the shift work, you bring your clothes. So preparation is key. Number one, make sure you bring your meals. Number two, bring your mobile gym in the bag right here. Uh, number three, bring a change of clothes. Even if it means you're bringing your running shoes order, who cares what people at work think, okay? People think I'm crazy at work. You know, I still go to work and I have my, everybody's like, okay, what is all this equipment that you have? You're so high maintenance. Yes, I do. And I have the rolling bag that everybody can hear coming down the sidewalk. And it's like, who cares? It's you, okay? Show up for you. Who cares what everybody else thinks, okay? Oh, 10,000 steps. That's still good. Um... What else? Um, protein powder. My favorite protein powder. I've got a few of them, Luana. I have a Dimatize. A Dimatize, Dimatize, Dimatize Elite. Okay. Bloopers again. Um, like I said, I am... I don't expect anything of you guys out there that I don't expect of myself and vice versa. And if I don't like the taste, I ain't going to drink it. So um, I do like Dimatize. I make sure that it's low in carbs, under uh, four to six grams of sugar, um, and as well as four under four to six grams of carbohydrates. So that's one of my favorite. Um, Dimatize. Who's liking? Who's liking me? Show me love. Show me love. Okay, Brian, I want to get my body back the way it used to be, healthy, mentally, and physically. Well, like I said, um, a healthy mind is a healthy soul is a healthy body. If you don't have, if you really don't have it in your head, stop wasting everybody else's time. If you're trying to get a trainer to find all the answers for you, and I saw an interesting article today, so... Uh, I think it was Stacy Nato uh, that posted this today and I loved it and actually I might repost it and tag her on this where people are blaming their trainers for their uh, um, failures and if you're looking to be rescued from your trainer okay save it because the trainer is there as a guideline okay so that trainer can show you what they're made of just like myself I can show you what my knowledge is I can give you the tools I can give you motivation but at the end of the day, you are the one that needs to perform and show up. I can't do that for you. I can take you by the hand for so long. But after that, 
there's nothing more that I can do. And Stacy talked about how many of the personal trainers that she knows gets blamed, and it's not it's not their fault. So, um, okay. Well, if I don't see any other questions, I'm sorry for the uh, hiccup there. Oh God, I'm liking you there. Okay, guys, I'm seeing. I can't see everything here. I'm trying to get to everything. Okay. Okay, Brian, good. You have a Fitbit. That's perfect. Perfect. Okay, so I want to make sure all you shift workers out there are going to be, you guys are no different. I don't care what job you ha have, okay? We, like I said, you guys are no different than the frontliners like us here being in jails and uh, paramedics and, and police officers. I don't care if you're a construction worker, if you're working uh, in hospitals, okay? There's lots of stairs in the hospitals, but please, okay? Turn your mind around and know that anything's possible. Time is relative. If it's 7 at night or 7 in the morning, 3 in the afternoon, 3 in the morning, just do it. Just do it for you. Show it for you. You know how good you feel? I have to admit, the most motivated that I felt, actually, is when I would do my cardio at 3 in the morning or 4 in the morning. Um, you know why? Because it is the most empowering feeling, knowing that the rest of the world is sleeping. And here I am either in the gym or at work with very few people and it was me living on their motivation and their strength think, thinking I am working harder than anybody else right now while the rest of the world is sleeping. So uh, that's what really got me motivated every day is knowing that I was taking action while the rest of the world was sleeping and, and there's not too many people that can do that. So on that note, if you have any other questions, hit me up on the inbox or um, comment, like this page, and um, I'm going to go wrap this up and have my greens juice again, y'all. Yes, it's okay. On the first video, I talked about the lemon juice in the uh, Nancy Danino forward slash slim down. Free download right there. Uh-huh. There's your abs right there. <laughs> So, uh, it was good. And drink those BCAs, okay? So, I have the BCAs here for those that got connected. BCAs are so important. Make sure that we prevent the breakdown of muscle, especially with the men. That's the first thing I hear all the time. Oh, I don't want to lose muscle. How am I supposed to train or do my cardio fasted? It's like, okay, there's nothing perfect, but that really helps. I actually have them every two hours. I have them before I work out. I'll chug them uh, back. I have a set in my shaker cup during the time that I'm doing my cardio or my HIIT training, and then I chug back after, and then every two hours after that. So that really helps me a lot, and it prevents me from being hungry. And that is it, y'all, I think, unless there's any other questions. Okay, um, let me just scan here. Um, big up to, to Luana. Great measurements. Week two under the under the gun. So we're going to see your pictures uh, in three weeks. Um, and then we have uh, a few others. Shelly and sorry, there's just so many. I, I'm down to 500 in my inbox. So remember, I'm on a Mac computer. I don't even know what's going on. That's probably why um, the, the audio wasn't working because of me. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, what do we have here? I was going to ask you what. <sighs> Mass gainers, there's quite a few. There's the one, um, oh my God, my head is going crazy. There's the one by Arnold, um, and it's slipping me. It's green and black. You know the one I'm talking about. That one is really good. Um, by Muscle Farm, that one. Really good mass gainer. Um, and there's another one out there. Mutant is a really good one as well. And that is, a, you guys are bomb, and thank you for listening to me ramble um, about my experiences, and believe me, um, I know that many of you think that just because I've competed or just because I've been on covers of magazines like the ones that I've showed you, I am no different than you, y'all, no different than you, and, and my story wasn't an easy one, and maybe, you know what, maybe that's what I'll do next week is... Be brave enough to always just talk about me and my story and my struggles because um, I didn't have it easy. I didn't. And I have suffered from, just to sum up, hypothyroidism, which has totally had me change my approach to health and fitness. Um, and um, I was not, I was like the skinny fat kid, but I was like the big kid. I, I had a lot going on. So I'm no different than you. 
and don't let anybody make you feel like that you're any less or that you can't change your goals because you can okay um, you can so make it happen um, you have to be your own fan and you got to put a price tag on yourself that is worth millions forget the lottery forget you are the lottery and let everybody know that you are worth it okay having said that I hope you have a good week plan 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 it's uh, seven seven o'clock on East Coast so you got time and uh, let me know if you do have any um, any questions and we'll go from there thank you I have so much love for you guys because you guys have supported me over the years and you continue to motivate me and I got lots of exciting news coming up but it's too early for me to tell you yes I'll be telling you what shows I'll be at and I'll be telling you about some things I got in the works but that means you have to tune in like my page comment to hear what's going on with me what's going in in the meantime I'm gonna go back to listening to the new release of Drake and you know what other show uh, song that I love too on my Spotify is uh, Ed Sheeran shape of your body hey Anyways, homies, uh, it's time for me to peace out. You got two for one treat. I hope the other video showed up a little bit more on the replay. Uh, and I do apologize that um, I still don't know how to work on my Apple products. Yeah, okay. Anyways, mwah. and uh, listen to me on the replay. Forward this message. If you like it, l hit the like button, comment. And I hope that I can help you in any way that I can. Because God knows makes the, the world go round with all this love and help that we all give each other okay take care peace out and I'll try and hit you up um, midweek if I can peace out yo